opportunity to speak here today. Not so long ago, my life was running from the police, fearing the police, and avoiding the police. Not because of anything that the police had done to me personally, but due to the animosity I had allowed to grow inside of me, making me believe that they were my enemy. But today, praise God, I am filled with hope. A proud American citizen who has been given a second chance. My transformation began in a prison cell where I found myself a three-time convicted felon facing yet another sentence. I gave my life to Jesus and made him a promise that I would spend the rest of my days helping others like me. My first help and support came from the unlikeliest of places, the FBI agent who arrested me, Richard Beasley. He is now a dear friend and has been a source of encouragement to me throughout my entire journey. I am grateful for the men and women of the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department who volunteer their time to people who are returning to our local community after incarceration. These are the real life heroes who put their lives on the line every day armed with the promise that they made to protect and to serve have made a tremendous impact in the lives of men and women reintegrating back into our society. My hope for America is that formerly incarcerated people will be afforded the opportunity to take advantage of the fact that we live in a nation of second chances. My hope for America is that law enforcement and people in the communities across our country can come together and realize that as Americans, we have more in common than we have differences. My hope for our great nation is to continue on this path we are on of being the most prosperous country in the world. I'm so proud of John with his life's turnaround and for all the lives that he's helped to change. It may be hard to believe that as a retired FBI agent, one of my best friends is a person I arrested for bank robbery. When I met John 15 years ago, he was angry, scared, frustrated, and anxious about his future. On the drive to prison, I stopped at a convenience store and bought John a coffee and a donut. After he was sentenced, John sent me a necktie and a note thanking me for treating him like a gentleman. Five years later, when he got out of prison, John called me and wanted to meet for lunch. He was a different man. He talked about starting a re-entry program for men and women coming out of prison. Over time, John earned the trust and respect of the law enforcement community, many of whom volunteer in John's Hope for Prisoners program. I'm grateful for President Trump's commitment to criminal justice reform. On February 20th of this year, he was the guest speaker at the Hope for Prisoners graduation. He stayed much longer than scheduled to hand out diplomas to the 29 men and women who graduated that day. Hang on. Our Patriots, you Trump 2020. They stole the first four, so we got to give them another four, right? Four more years. Four more years. Four more years. There you go. Yeah. All right. God bless you. Believe this girl blew away from oh, I know. Uh, Veronica's everywhere. Hey, beautiful event. Excuse me, guys. Beautiful event. Hello. 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 I'm Ben. I'm April. I saw you on Facebook Live yesterday. She did. Awesome. <laughs> Got woken up five months ago. Five months ago. Five months ago. Yeah. Hashtag. Whoa, awake. Awake. Sorry. All right. I'm like super excited right now. I feel like shaking. Uh, that's, is this your first rally? Uh, second. I went to Students for Trump oh, that's rally. Cool. That was great. And that's where I met Ronnie. Yeah. And then we became cool. uh, Patriot sisters. Very cool, yeah. very cool. Awesome, nice. awesome, awesome. I love it. Love out here it in Yuma, it's hot outside. It is, we're sweating. You know what? We're hot for America in here. Yeah, and hot for Trump. <laughs> hot for America, baby. Yeah, 2020. 2020. We got these folks up here, too. Yeah, freedom. And of course, our awesome security guys here. Thank you, guys. These guys are awesome. You're doing. God bless them. God, God bless, bless you guys. guys. Don't mess with these guys. Go get checked. Antifa, don't show up here. You're going to get jacked by these guys. And you should. <laughs> Love you guys. Look at this beautiful, beautiful event, guys. God bless our Border Patrol and everybody who protects and serves, who upholds that oath to defend, uphold and defend the Constitution. It's great to see you, too. It's great to be here. Great to be here. It is. It's great to meet you. Great to meet you, too. Thank you for everything you're doing. Oh, it's my honor. Total honor. We're all... We're all doing it. We are. All you're right. You're right. Awesome. Tell me your name again. April. April. I'm April right now. I live in Chandler, Arizona. Awesome. So, God bless yeah. you. Yeah. All right. Stay God tuned, guys. You. America's waking up. Oh! Yeah! No Trump. Hang on. Our Patriots.
Our Patriots, you Trump 2020! They stole the first four, so we gotta give them another four, right? Trump 2020, four more years! Four more years with Donald Trump! There you go. Oh, I know. Uh, Veronica's everywhere. Hey, beautiful event. Excuse me, guys. Beautiful event. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Ben. I'm April. I saw you on Facebook Live yesterday. She just got woken up five months ago. 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 It's hot outside. It is. We're sweating. But you know what? We're hot for America in here. Yeah, and hot for Trump. Hot <laughs> for America. Yeah. America, baby. Yeah, 2020. 2020. We got these folks up here, too. Yeah, freedom. And of course, our awesome security guys here. Thank you, guys. These guys are for awesome. Everything you're doing. God bless them. God, God bless, bless you guys. guys. Don't mess with these guys. You'll get jacked. <laughs> Antifa, don't show up here. You're going to get jacked by these guys. And you should. <laughs> Love you guys. Yeah. Look at this beautiful, beautiful event, guys. God bless our Border Patrol and everybody who protects and serves, who upholds that oath to defend, uphold and defend the Constitution. It's great to see you too. It's great to be here. Great to be here. It is. It's great to meet you. Great to meet you too. Thank you for everything you're doing. Oh, it's my honor. Total honor. We're all, we're all doing. We are. You're right. You're right. Awesome. Tell me your name again. April. April. I'm April right now. I live in Chandler, Arizona. Awesome. So, God bless yeah, you. Thank you. All right. Stay God tuned, guys. You. America's waking up. Oh! Yeah! No Trump. <laughs>